Hi, everybody. My name is Aaron Dell. I'm a business development manager for AWS. And today I want to talk to you about adding tags to your cloud intelligence dashboards. So let's get started doing that. Let's say you're using the Kudos dashboard or maybe the cost intelligence dashboard and you want to add tags. Let's say you're looking at the amortized spend graph, for example. It's a pretty good graph. You can look at your costs over time. You can see how they compare in terms of which services cost what. You can group it by region. You can group it by your account. But you want to group it by tags or cost categories so you can charge it back appropriately. But you don't see them here in this list. They're not in your summary view. So how do I add them? Head on, head on over to Athena. That's how we're going to get started. The first thing you're going to do is look for your cur under these tables here. Uh, in this case, my cur is called this account cur. I'm going to drop down this cur and look at all of the columns. There's a lot of them. If you kind of scroll to the end, you'll start to see things with un resource underscore tag. These are my tags. So maybe I'll try adding this one, resource underscore tags username. So how do I do that? Well, the first thing you're going to do is look for your summary view query, the view here, and you're going to click show edit query. Now I can change this query and add fields. So I'm just going to click somewhere around here and uh, make a new line. And then I'm going to double click on the tag that I want to add. So I'm going to add this one. I'm going to put some quotes around it to make the SQL happy. And then I'm going to give it a human readable name so that I can find it uh, under a different way instead of just resource underscore tag. So I'm just going to call it tag underscore user underscore name. Uh, let's add a second one while we're at it. So I'm going to actually look for a cost category that I created and see if I can add that as well. So if I scroll down here, I'll find my cost category underneath the resources right there. And I'm just going to go ahead, double click it and add it to my query here. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to throw some quotes around it. And then I'm going to uh, make sure that I can give it some kind of human readable name. So in this case, I'll call it uh, cost category. You know what, I'll just call it the same thing just for this demo, cost category digital. And then because I added two new fields, I just need to increment this group by clause by two numbers, 37 and 38. Okay, run the query and assuming there's no errors, I'm ready to move on and we're done with Athena. So head on over to QuickSight. And the first thing we're gonna do is head over to the data sets section and look for summary view. There's summary view. You might have it called something else, but I've got it called summary view. I'm just gonna fire off a refresh now and uh, let that run in the background. And then I'm gonna click edit data set. So this is going to show me now what the data set thinks it is. And if I look here on the left in the fields list, I should be looking for those two new, two new fields that I added. So first let's check for the cost category. There it is. So it sees it, that's good, and the tag. I've got some other tags here from the previous time that I've, I've uh, tried this. So here's the important part, click save. You need to click save here because this is what tells QuickSight on the back end to add these fields to your analysis or your dashboard. All right, so let's head over to our analysis here, the cost intelligence dashboard and wait for it to load as it'll probably still be loading if you fired off a refresh. And this may take some time depending on how large your data set is. Now that it's loaded, I'm gonna check my amortized spend graph here and look for that new field that I created. In this case, I'll start with the cost category digital one. And I'm gonna add it to the group slash color for bars section here. So I just drag it on over and in between two others like that and click it. And now I've got that whole amortized spend graph grouped by my cost categories. Now let's try it with our tags. So I'm gonna look for the tag that I created here, which I believe is resource underscore, or actually I think it's just tag underscore users underscore name, um, drag it in in between these two. And there we are. So if I click that now, I'm grouping this visual by tag so I can see cost per tag. And that's it. Happy hunting. Let us know how it goes and if we can provide any assistance. Thank you so much.